Good morning everyone. Welcome to your English class. Today we will do the explanation of unit 7, The Thief is Caught. It's written by, written by Emil Rich Kastner. Emil Rich Kastner was a German author, poet and, sc and screenwriter known for his humorous but wise poems. He is well known for his children's book like Emil and the detectives. He was nominated for the Nobel Prize in Literature for four times. His books are notable for their humorous style and minimal use of words. Now let's read what's given about the lesson. Emil is a little boy who lives with his mother. Although she has very little money, she gives Emil some to give his grandmother and some to spend in the city. Emil experiences an unexpected adventure on the way. Read on to find out what happens. Now here it's being told that Emil is a, uh, is a little boy who lives with his mother and one day his mother gave him some money to uh, hand over it to his grandmother and she also gave some money to spend in the city. But on his way to the uh, city something unexpected happens in the way and he uh, goes through an adventure uh, that time. Now let's read the lesson and find out what happens to him. There were four other people in the compartment of the train along with Emil. One was a man who wore a black hat. Emil somehow did not like him. He did not know the man's name and thought of him as black hat. Here it's being told that uh, there were four people in the compartment along with Emil and uh, there was a person who was wearing a black hat and as Emil did not know what his name was, he assumed him as, as uh, black hat. When Emil was left alone with black hat in the compartment, he decided to watch the men carefully. Although he was feeling sleepy, it was warm in the compartment and soon Emil fell asleep. When he woke up, Emil realized that Black Hat was gone and so was his money. Tears filled his eyes when the train stopped. Emil spotted Black Hat as he was getting out of the next compartment. He quickly picked up his bag and followed the men. Here in this para, it's being told that when Emil uh, was left alone in the compartment with Mr. With Mr. Black Hat, um, he decided to watch him very carefully. But as it was warm in the compartment and he was already feeling sleepy, he felt asleep. When he woke up, he realized that Black Hat, Mr. Black Hat, has gone, and his money has also gone. His eyes filled with tears and then after some time he saw, when the train stopped, he saw Black Hat getting down from the uh, from next compartment on the station. He quickly picked up his bag and, uh, and decided to follow the man. A few minutes later, Emil saw Black Hat go into a cafe. He did not follow the men into the cafe. Instead, he stopped on the road and watched. Black Hat will pay for his coffee with my mother's money, thought Emil. He felt very, very sad and looked sad. Now here it's being told that after a few minutes, Emil found that uh, Black Hat was going into the coffee, sorry, cafe, into the cafe. He thought that now this black hat will pay for his coffee with the money which his mother has given and he felt very sad because um, as his mother had very little money and she gave him some uh, to hand over it to his grandmother for their needs now mr black hat has taken it and now he is going to spend it he thought all this and then he he was very sad What's the matter? Someone asked. Emil turned round and saw a boy. He told the boy what had happened. 
I must get the money back, Emil told the boy. I have to give it to my grandmother. I'll help you, said the boy, whose name was Paul, and my friends will join me. The man is eating now. Watch him while I run and call them. Now here in these uh, three paras, it's being said that when Emil was, um, was keeping an eye on the black cat out from outside the cafe, someone asked the boy, what, what's the matter? And when he turned round, he saw a boy standing in front of him. Emil told him everything and said that I must get it back because I need to give it to my grandmother. That boy whose name was Paul, he said that he'll help him. And he said uh, that uh, you just keep eye on the, this man and I'm going to call my friends. They will also help you. Paul ran off and soon returned with lots of boys. Let's be detectives and get the money back, Emil said. Now, in, the, in this line, it's being said that Emil said, uh, when Emil saw that Paul has returned with lots of boys, he said that let's be detectives and uh, get the money back from Emil. Sorry, get the money back from uh, Blackhead. Paul told a little boy called Tuesday to go home because he had a telephone in his house. We can give all the news to you, he said, and you can pass it on. Well, also, we'll also need some, uh, some food and money. Now here it's being told that uh, there was a little boy in that group called Tuesday. He... Um, Paul told that little boy Tuesday to go home and stay on the line and they, he also said that uh, whatever will happen we will give you the news and you pass it on to others and he said that we will also need some money and food. Some boys who lived nearby ran for home for food. They all looked in their pockets to see if they had any money. Just then, Blackhead came out of the cafe and got into a taxi. Emil and some of his new friends got into other taxi. Now, it's being said that as Paul said that they will need money and food. Some of the boys who were living nearby, they ran to, to their homes and, for food and others looked into their pockets for money. Just then, when all this was happening, Black Hat came out from the cafe and got into the taxi. Emil and some of his new friends also got into another taxi. Please follow that car, Emil told the taxi driver. Black Hat got out of his taxi and went into a hotel. Now it's being said here that Emil uh, told, the, told his taxi driver to follow the other taxi which was, in which Black Hat was. And after some time, it's being said that Black Hat got out of his taxi and went into a hotel. Now, that's all for today. Thank you and have a good day.